Hey guys, we're the Rage. Hope you have a fantastic day, and welcome to a, another trailer reaction kind of not really video. Um, you guys like the Battlefield One trailer reaction so much that I thought I would bring you guys uh, one about Doom. Now I've already played the Doom um, open beta, and I loved the hell out of it. And I already uh, I've kind of been exposed to this, but I haven't really sat and watched the trailers in depth too much. I haven't really looked too too far into it um, for the trailer at least for the, kind of the single player stuff. But I did play the multiplayer, so I may not react to some of the stuff I'm seeing in-game, uh, some, some of the in-game stuff I'm seeing as uh, much as the Battlefield 1 trailer, because I didn't know anything going to that one. This one I know a little bit about, but I never really looked at the trailer. So uh, this is going to be sort of a half-trailer reaction, half-review uh, of the Doom beta. Uh, I'm going to do a review of, the, of uh, Battleborn, I'm going to do a review of the Overwatch beta, um, and just give my impressions on those as well. But today we're going to do Doom. So this is the Doom launch trailer, which was sent out five days ago on May 5th. So let's go ahead and watch it. All right. Heavy metal. Nice. Uh oh. Ooh. Classic Doom. Whoa. Okay, I didn't know there were robots in Doom. I knew there were demons and shit, but robots, no. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. Nice. Oh shit, what is that? Okay, yep. There there's the bit there, there fucking Oh, this is it. All right, there's the rifle. Good. Ooh, what is that thing? Is that nade launcher? Okay. They don't look really like... The, the other ones didn't really look like uh, demons. They look more like aliens. Yeah, those ones look like aliens. Whoa, okay. So that was a fast trailer. So let's go ahead and um, break that down. Let's kind of look at it again. So, uh, that was pretty intense. Like, so, so yeah, some of the stuff in there I did not see in the Doom open beta and I did not see in any of the other trailers. So, and, and I'm guessing this is all like single player stuff. So... Let's start with the obvious, the weird shit. So we got a robot here. I, I don't know any of the story here, so this could be interesting to see. So there's like this robot. Um, now the question is, is it a robot? Maybe it's like, see, because his chest is kind of big. So I'm thinking maybe there's like an augmented system in there. Maybe he turned himself into a robot, like a cyborg type thing. It's just like a brain in a jar, maybe. But um, it, it's probably just a robot. I'm probably looking too far into it. But this is interesting because he's like, you know, hey, you're back, whatever. Yeah, you've returned. Okay, so that's referencing that th that this is a remake of the original Doom. Alright, so here we see, like, uh, his armor in this wall. Uh, let me see if we can get a good shot of it. Oh, wait, that was a really good shot of it. There we go. Okay, so we can see his armor is kind of encased in this wall. And I don't know if this is, like, his armor or somebody else's armor. But he puts it on, so he gets ready to whoop some ass here. And, um... Okay, so now that is new. That I did not see in the multiplayer beta. I saw a double barrel shotgun, but I didn't see a pump action shotgun. So that's that's a thing. All right. So he's ripping this dude's throat out. Gotta love it. There's some kind of um, spellbinder chick behind him. Like some kind, this is obviously like some kind of witch character that casts spells or something. Does pretty much like the ranged attack. It's not like a horde. Okay, so let's see. Right out the back, just explode something in your face just decides to explode this guy now this double barrel this was in the doom open beta i had a lot of fun with that um pairing this with as your secondary with your um static rifle uh which it would only charge up if you moved around so if you were sitting still it wouldn't charge at all but if you moved around it would build up to a full charge and once you had a full charge if you if you shot somebody like in the chest if you got them like pretty much for a body shot it would do 60 then you just whip out the shotgun on them and, and pop them for about 50 and um that's a good and then the shotgun when you barrel stuff it on somebody oh it was nasty absolutely nasty you just crush them all right so let's uh continue looking at this here this goes really fast so the graphics look good this is intent this is by the way 1080 so but the, i know this is what it actually does look like in game because i played the um open beta for the multiplayer at least and it may not look this pretty but it's gonna look damn near close to it so He's gonna reload, he's gonna go behind this guy. This guy doesn't seem to be paying attention. The other ones are running up on him. 
So there's some kind of fat dude over here. If you look in the right hand corner over here, uh, there's some kind of big old fat dude with a what looks like a laser arm, and I'm guessing he's gonna be kind of like a tank mini boss character. All right, so yeah, he goes and guts the shit out of him. All right, so there's this fucking thing. This thing scares me. This is nightmare fuel. So it's got big fucking horned head. This thing is like ten feet tall, giant four-fingered fist, right? He's got this giant spike on his arm, and then he's got what appears to be some kind of plasma cannon as his arm. No, no hand, just plasma cannon. Look at him just slinging shit. All right, so this was in the open beta too. Um, let me actually back that up. So this was in the open beta. This is the plasma rifle. I didn't find much use for it, but. That's okay. I mean, other people did. I didn't. I wasn't really a fan. Um, you can do like a nade launcher shot with it, where it compresses all the rounds into like one uh, grenade launcher shot that like soaks an area. Basically, does like an AOE type thing in a small area, which is pretty cool. So it causes a lot of damage and, and leaves a bit of an aftertaste on the area. So there's that. And then he automatically switches to this big fucking thing. This was one of the pickups in the um, in the beta. You go pick this thing up, and it kills everything in one shot. It would even... I think it even one-shot the um, the Revenant Demon pickup. Uh, there was a Demon pickup where you picked up, you turned into this demon with a jetpack and a rocket launcher on your shoulders. And uh, I think this thing even one-shot them a couple times. So he's blowing him into smithereens. I'll just let you guys see. It's just... Boom! Gone! Okay, so yeah, I think that is actually the Revenant that I was just talking about. Because it, it, it looks very similar to the one. So there's this little dude over here, he's gonna get fucked completely, like, I feel kind of sorry for this dude over here. He's just, he's just doing his job as little demon grunt dude, and he's gonna get massacred. So, let's see, he's taking a gun off some guy, and then right before that we had a shot of this giant thing. So I'm guessing this is like the, the arc um, from the movie Doom. Uh, if you guys didn't see the Doom movie, it was okay. Um, it was a little... I don't know, it, it was B, I guess. I don't want to say it was bad, but I, I, I didn't want to say it was good either. It was kind of so-so. But, um, yeah, it wasn't like Blockbuster or anything, but it was pretty good. Uh, so this is kind of like some kind of power core thing or some kind of teleport or something. This is basically the thing that opened up the portal and let all the demons in. And then he picks up the heavy assault rifle. Right, this was in the beta. And then, let's see, what else can we see? Well, we see we got explosive barrels, so like every good FPS, you're going to have to have your red explosive barrels. Right? Okay, so these dudes are familiar. I've seen these guys before. Uh, so... Knock him out. I s and then there's this guy. Look at this fucking guy. And so, this was actually not in the beta at all. I know that for a fact. This was not in the beta. So, it appears to be some kind of na sticky nade launcher. Because he just sticks it straight to his face and he explodes. Look at all the giving. I love the gore. I love the violence. Okay, so... Just blows people into pieces. I love it. Alright, so there's a closer look at that witch character we saw before. So this was sort of in the background of um, the other shot. So up here you can see she's char- It- She, it, he, whatever. It's charging up this kind of attack. I think it might be some kind of spawner. Um, like, the reason I'm calling it a witch character is like- It's like the witch from Left 4 Dead. So if you startle the witch, it's, it draws all the zombies to it. So maybe there's going to be, like, one level where you have to be careful because you have, like, no guns. And then you have to sneak around the one witch that's in your area and not have it alert anybody. Because if, if that, then you're going to have to, like, run like hell and get out of the area, you know. Uh, but it looks like some kind of upper uh, demon, some kind of, like, manager demon, like a, like a boss demon. Not like a boss boss, but like uh, like an un not like an overseer basically. It's it's not like a grunt or an underling like the other ones that are, he's making cannon fodder out of. So you see this big thing down here. It appears to be launching a flamethrower at him, and then here's a rocket launcher that was in the beta. I didn't find much use for it, but I mean, it fell in line with the plasma rifle. It did it did some work in certain situations. So, boom, exploded. So maybe we can uh, get a real good look at this guy between frames here. Oh, 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 little backwards. Okay, so this is the big guy that we saw before, I think. It looks similar to it. It's got the gut. It's got the, the arms and everything. So it seems to be some kind of flaming tank character. Uh, what I hope to see is that they uh, make it to where it's kind of like uh, what happened to uh, soldiers in World War II that had flamethrowers, where they had the giant tanks on their back. And if you shot the tanks, they, they would explode, which really sucked. That's a horrible way to die. But, um... 
yeah, I would love to love to see if you could sneak up on one of these things or like jump behind it, then just shoot in the back of a shotgun, just have it, you know, just go tss, and fires coming off and it just boom. That'd be great. All right, so there he goes. He explodes. And these things, these things are weird looking. They don't look like demons. They look more like aliens. You know, it looks kind of weird. But um, so here's another big guy. And this is great. The chainsaw. Classic Doom. You gotta have the chainsaw. Oh, that. can we get a look at that action shot again? Look at him. Just slices him directly in half. Does not give a fuck. I mean, that better be in multiplayer. I'm telling you that right now. I want a chainsaw melee weapon in multiplayer. Maybe not one that does like an ultimate shot like that where it just slices. Maybe have it to where you can hold it down and it'll... Or maybe if you like hold L2 for alternate fire... He'll, like, you know, gas it up. He'll, like, hold it above his head and prepare for a shot. And when you release L2, he'll do the full swing. You know, because um, they had a lot of alternate fire in the uh, beta. So some things were able to zoom in. So some things uh, had, like, different... Some things would fire, like, the plasma launcher. Instead of firing one at a time, it would fire all in a burst. Um, but, yeah, I think that could be really interesting for them to do. I think it wouldn't be that hard to balance it out in the multiplayer for the... Chainsaw, and could you imagine just a map of like 12 dudes running around in TDM just chainsawing each other to death? Just people getting cut up every five seconds. The finishers with that gun could be amazing. Alright, so what is this thing that we're seeing here? So this is some kind of a spider thing with a what appears to be a turret penis. <laughs> and it's just like shooting out plasma rounds. And then oh he's just he's just going in. I mean look at this, this game looks awesome. It just looks fantastic. So, it's coming May 13, 2016 to, of course, Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Um, I'm not going to be getting it. I'm too broke to get it. I would love to get it. But it will be coming out this Friday, actually. So, um, yeah, if anybody's got an extra $60 that they want to send me on PSN... Eh? No? Okay. <laughs> so that is... Or that was the Doom beta. Okay, so that was that was mainly the trailer breakdown portion of it. Um, let me go on to the actual... Um, uh, the actual kind of review section now. So what did I think about the beta? Well, in the beta, there were two game modes. Um, there was TDM, so classic, you know, just deathmatch. And then there was some kind of capture the flag or capture the hill kind of situation where it was kind of like hard point where you had to contain in this certain area and, you, and then the area moved after a certain amount of time. So it was pretty much hard point. I didn't get to play that mode um, because nobody was playing it. I don't know why. Every time I search for it. Um, it was hard to find TDM matches to begin with, and finding that other match was hard to tell. Uh, there were two maps in the beta. There was Inferno, and... Oh, what was the other one? Inferno and Underground? Or... Hold on. Um, let me Google this real quick, because... Uh, Doom beta maps. Because I don't want to get the name wrong here. Uh, okay, uh... Let's see, this is Bethesda.net, so this is official. I don't want to enter my birthday to see a frickin'... Why do I have to do that? Okay, open beta... Okay. So let's see. Alright. Let's see, uh, Doom's open beta, fully detailed, blah 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 blah. Alright, so... Uh, it says here that uh, it's going to be 6v6, Team Deathmatch, or Warpath. Warpath was the hardpoint uh, variant that I told you guys about. Uh, on the match, Heat Wave and Infernal. Not Inferno, I'm sorry guys, I got that wrong. Uh, there will be a Demon Pickup, so Revenant. Okay, so that's all I need to know about the map. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, on the maps, um, Heat Wave and Infernal. Uh, so, I think Heat Wave, I preferred a little bit more. I mean, they were both great maps. Uh, but Heat Wave was kind of like in a smelting underground area where there was like um, molten lead being poured and stuff. And you could actually like uh, fall into the lava and die. It was it was really great. Uh, but it was a lot of urban, urban combat, very close, very uh, very tight, very close quarters. Um, so as for the game itself, uh, you guys are probably wondering about the gameplay. Uh, on those maps, there were health pickups, uh, armor pickups, and ammo pickups. So... You start with X amount of ammo in each gun, and uh, once you run out, you run out. Like, there's no scavenging, there's no, you know, uh, replenished ammo, nothing. There, There is, once it's gone, it is gone. Same with your health. You can't get health back. Um, you can get armor back, and you can get, and you can get health back, but it doesn't regenerate on its own. So basically, you'd have to run around and find blue canisters, which was health. 
or um, green chips, or green plates, I should say, that were armor, and then you would have to find um, yellow crates, which were ammo. So it was pretty simple, pretty easy to pick up in a few seconds. Um, so that's how you did all that. With the ba That was pretty much the basics. And then, uh, so the weapons. There was a rocket launcher, a plasma rifle, a double barrel shotgun, uh, let's see what else there is. There's a static rifle, the lightning gun, and I think that was it. Could be mistaken, but I I'm pretty sure that was it. Um, so that was pretty much what was in the beta. And I primarily used the static rifle once I unlocked it and the double barrel shotgun because the double barrel was so good. It caused so much damage and you could just barrel stuff people. Um, and then the static rifle, of course, like I said earlier, you could like pretty much give them the one-two punch and static rifle, rifle somebody and then pull out your shotgun and just finish them off. And it was so good. Um, speaking of finishing off, uh, I really like the glory kills. So kudos to Bethesda on that one. You guys did great on the glory kills. Um... Basically, a glory kill would be that when your enemy's health is, like, low, this yellow light goes around them. For a second, it looks like a shield, basically. It, imagine, like, a shield from Star Trek. Uh, when it gets fired on by a phaser, it kind of makes this glow around it. it you, you can see the field. So, basically, that goes for a second, and that indicates that, hey, they're on low health. You could maybe go in for a glory kill. And the way you do this was uh, go in and press R3 or hold circle or whatever your controller setup was. Whatever the melee button was, you hold the melee button. And he would, like, grab him. He would flip him on their side and punch him in the face. He would Spartan kick them into a wall, snap their neck if he was behind them, take their head and knee straight down. It was so good. I liked that a lot. The brutality. I mean, there was so much gore in that game. I mean, it just, it was disgusting, the amount of gore. And I think that's what uh, the FPS genre has been missing for the past few years, is that return to simpler roots kind of thing. Of like, a bunch of people on a map, blowing the shit out of each other, and just destroying. Now, um, there were battle pickups. So there was a weapon and a um, vehicle, I guess, a, a vehicle pickup, I guess you could consider it. Um, so you'd pick up the demon uh, revenant pickup, which it was a, a demon with a jetpack and rockets on it, like rocket mounted on its shoulders, kind of like this, and um, you would just kind of basically fly up above people and shoot them and whatnot, and it would just destroy, and it was great, and that could swing you the whole game. Your team could be down by, like, 15 kills, somebody could get the Demon Revenant, and you guys could win instantly. It, it's that powerful. Now, I'm not saying you can, but you could. So, if the Demon pops up, and you're in multiplayer, focus fire on the Demon. You really want to get that thing down, because it can cause a lot of damage in the little time that it's up, uh, if you don't take care of it. So that was fun. Uh, there's also the weapon pickup, which was this giant... I know it wasn't the BFG, which um, Doom is infamous for, but it was some other kind of like super hyper railgun thing. And you could actually L2 and you could actually aim in and it would let you look through walls. So it would kind of ping through the walls. And um, it wasn't like a constant thing. It was more like the millimeter scanner from Black Ops 2 where you could aim in. It would show you through the walls. But the thing showed everywhere you were looking. So in every direction you looked, it would ping all at the same time outward like a... Basically, kind of like sonar. And then you could see when somebody's coming, you could just shoot them. And if it touched any part of their body, splat. Dead. Gone. Just, just gone. It was great. Um, so that was good. The guns were solid. The customization was off the chain, guys. Like, there was all kinds. You could mix and match armor pieces. Individual arms. Uh, you had legs, which was one set. You had arms individual from one another. So you could have one... One arm set over here and one arm set over there. And then the chest was its own thing. And then uh, the head even was its own thing. Not only that, you could change the light that was on your guys. So the light coming out of your helmet or the um, or coming off your arm. Um, so you could change that. You could change the color scheme. You could rotate around. The metallic uh, paint jobs in that game were so beautiful. I had to give props for that. Mega props for that. I had... I think I was rocking, like, the, the gray metallic. I, I was rocking, like, metallic gray, which was, like, a dark kind of um, uh, smoky gray. And it was uh, it was that and purple. It was, like, this metallic purple. It was so good. It looked so shiny and, and, and awesome. Um, so kudos to them on that. Uh, the gun customization, just the same. There was, like, different patterns. Hit. There's this very deep level of customization. I hope it, they expand on it because while it was deep, I feel like it could have had a little bit more to it, um, like individual gun pieces being different colors, like the trigger is one color, the stock is one color, this, you could maybe have the double barrel, one barrel is blue, one barrel is red, if you know what I mean. 
Um, so something like that to be able to do that. But there, it was extensive. It was almost to that point, basically. And not only that, but then you could put um, scratches and, and wear and tear and make your shit look rusty and old. It was so awesome. Um, so the maps were solid. The guns were solid. Uh, pretty much everything about the beta was solid. I really didn't have a bad time on that beta. Um, I would say giving it uh, the beta... I would have to give it an 8 out of 10, um, just for A, uh, you always want to give something like 1 point margin of error, uh, and, and 1 point margin for uh, bias, basically, and 2, the other point that it loses is, um, I gotta say, uh, what, what was it, um, the level cap, the level cap kind of annoyed me, because I saw people walking around with like metallic black and metallic red and having these really cool paint jobs going on, and I'm sitting here like, I got purple, that's great. Can I get the black? No, okay, I've hit the level cap. Maybe don't let people go past the level cap, but let um but let you keep earning stuff. Sorry, my phone's going off. Anyway, as I was saying, um, the uh, I I'd give it a solid like eight out of ten. Uh, one point margin of error for bias. Uh, and then the other point it loses is on the um power up cards. The uh, the what, what do they call them? They call them something. They call them the something cards. But it was basically cards you brought into the battle, and you would activate these um after you respawn or after you spawn. Basically, you would die, and then you'd spawn, and you could spawn with one of these cards, and would last for, like, 60 seconds, 90 seconds, uh, 120 seconds. At least that's the three tiers that I saw. And I don't know if it can go higher or what. Um, and I would like to see those cards be kind of more renewable, I guess, rather than, like... Because I found myself running out of cards very, very quickly, because I use them every single match to try and get stuff. And I'd like to see the bounty cards a little more common, because... The bounty cards I think you only got for like each level, and then after that I was like, well, fuck you. Um, you couldn't really earn any more bounty cards after that, and the bounty cards gave you like a 50% uh, XP bonus. So that's always good for every kill within like 60 seconds. So it's like, well, you really don't have much time to get kills anyway, so would it really be OP to give people the bounty cards anyway? Um, and I don't know if they're going to have all the guns unlocked in the full game. I'm assuming... I'm assuming so because of how the beta was set up, but hey, maybe that's um maybe that's how maybe that's not how they're gonna run it, maybe it is gonna run it. I would like to see them run it like that. I would advise they run it like that because the game would be kind of unfun if you had to level grind to unlock guns, like in Call of Duty or Battlefield, we had to unlock guns. It's I think it would get a little tedious, a little bored. Um I think stick with the basics and they'll be fine. Anyway, guys, uh that was my trailer reaction and uh review of the doom open beta i hope you guys enjoyed and if you didn't do the usual like subscribe check out my streams and i'll see you guys in the next video reap the rager signing off